that door over here. That's the only water tank, only tankless water heater on the stalls in Navi, really. Ongoing maintenance, you know, we get a crew in there every every two years, but like, I can tell you easily I have 500 units in. And if we had problems, I wouldn't be in business. Hey, it's uh, Brandon from Farm Mechanical. We've been in the business for quite some time now. I've, it's a couple generations. Yeah. Been doing this since I was around eight years old on site, helping my father clean up and move tools around and move material around. and. Eventually, I took a big liking to it, and I uh, pursued it as my career. So recently, I've been seeing a lot of stuff around the MPS. So, you know, I looked around at it, and I understood it, and I said, you know, this is a perfect fit for most furnace replacements. Uh, yeah, I want to do the transition first. Yeah, Today, we took out a very standard furnace replacement for most projects, pulled that out, and we slid this in with an ease. I'm saying like top, top to bottom, you could easily install these replacements in four hours, no problem. Uh, unlike most units, whereas it comes configured for a left-hand orientation, and if we wanted to go the right-hand orientation, we'd have to do a swing joint with two 90s inside in order to get it out there, which is very difficult. Here, it's so easy. We're gonna throw this 90 on, and we're gonna pick our orientation. With the MPF, you, you can tell that they've actually looked at re and re situations like you know we're pulling out a furnace and we're putting this in place so they've made it so it's it's pretty flexible it's an ambidextrous unit meaning that everything that comes out the left you can take out the right there's lots of conversion kits for inside there's lots of space to work in there everything's neatly organized and labeled and now we're ready to start to set up wizard um, so we're gonna go ahead and the control panel is really easy for me being that I've worked with Navian for such a long time, it's pretty standard on all their controls. So if you know how to use a Navian controller, say on an NPE or an NCB series, it's pretty much exactly like that with a few added flares. Of course, now we're dealing with air flows and you know, we walk through the setup wizard and it, it really labels everything for you. It gives you the opportunity to check your static pressures. It gives you the opportunity to set your fan speeds and set your temperatures for your, for your heating modes. Um, cooling is super easy and it tells you, it's like, what size air conditioner do you have? One, ton, one and a half ton, two ton, and you select it. And based on your airflow settings, it's gonna try to deliver around 400 CFM a ton. Yeah, minimum fire. So if you're, if you're coming from a furnace retrofit background and you've installed a lot of furnace replacements, putting this in is no different. Especially for your dust and gross filaments, yes. In fact, today I found it way easier because I'm not messing around with dozens of little dip switches. I'm not trying to comprehend, you know, five different blocks and trying to figure out what dip switch needs to be up and down. The display is so user friendly and it just asks you questions in plain English, which is really easy to set up as an installer. Today, we pulled out what you would typically replace with another like-for-like -like model, and Navian is right in that running for a selection of choices for your next retrofit project.